guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm back this week with another video for you guys. But today we're going to be talking about my top 5 favorite long lasting and long wearing liquid lipsticks and matte lipsticks that will last you literally all day through everything without making your lips extra dry, without crumbling, and without even having to touch up that much. So if you're interested in watching that, keep on watching. But if you're not a part of the Paolian family yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And yeah, let's get started with this top 5 long wearing liquid lipsticks video. Alright, so the first lipstick that I'm going to be talking about is actually the least long wearing one But this lipstick can last you for up to 8 to 10 hours, which is still a pretty long time And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick And I have the shade Buff as well as Dread I do like Buff a little better because it's a, like a purplish mauve shade And I love purple, you guys know that So that is what the swatch looks like As you can tell, it is very even and opaque And it doesn't really dry out your lips, which is really nice So I would say if you do not like liquid lipsticks you find that they are too drying I would definitely go for the Anastasia Beverly Hills matte lipsticks and that is why I wanted to talk about this one first because I feel like if you like liquid lipsticks you can use this and if you don't you can use it as well and it's just a very nice everyday formula because it will last you all day but after you eat and everything you can just touch up and it doesn't crumble it doesn't ball up and it doesn't like transfer outside of the lip line which is literally the biggest test that I have with my lipsticks I hate when they transfer like above or over the lip line like I I don't like them to bleed or run and I find that that happens a lot with red shades so that is why I don't really like to wear red shades if I'm gonna be wearing makeup for a very long time I do tend to go with more nudes or browns which is like all of the colors that I have here except for this one but what I really like about this formula is that it lasts a very long time it doesn't bleed it doesn't run it's very comfortable to wear and it's also really easy to apply and the tube is really small so it's really easy to carry on the go and they do have a lot of colors to choose from and they all last a very long time so you do have more options in color there so I really love this formula and if you haven't tried it you should definitely try it out because it is the perfect everyday long wearing formula if you don't like a matte a liquid lipstick but you do like your lips to look matte and to last a very long time. So. Alright, so moving on, the next one that I'm gonna be talking about is actually the most affordable one out of all of these. So I would say if you're on a budget, you should definitely try this one. Or even if you're not on a budget, this formula is literally the best drugstore lip formula ever. It is the most long wearing, it is the most comfortable to wear, and it doesn't really run, it doesn't move all day long. Like you can wear this all day long without touching up and it will not move. And this is the Palladio and Casey Holmes liquid lip. And I I have all three shades but the one that I use the most is rescue because I feel like it is the perfect everyday nude color you can wear this without foundation like just lipstick alone you can wear it with a full face and it looks amazing and I just feel like this lasts the longest it is the most comfortable like whenever I wear this liquid lipstick I forget that I'm wearing lipstick at all whatsoever like I feel like I have nothing on my lips even if I forget to put lip balm before putting on a liquid lipstick it doesn't overdrive my lips either which is really nice because that is something I look for in every liquid lipstick and I I also really like that when you touch up with this liquid lipstick, it doesn't crumble or ball up. You know, like some lipstick, when you touch them up, they kind of flake out. That doesn't happen with this one. When you retouch, it pretty much blends into the lipstick that was already there. And it looks like it is brand new and it doesn't get heavy or cakey or anything, which is really nice. I feel like if you want your lipstick to last like 10, 12, 14, 16 hours, this is the formula to go. And they also have two more shades. They have the shade Obsessed and Georgia. So if you like a more peachy color they have Georgia and if you like dark plum colors they have Obsessed and they all literally wear the exact same it's just kind of like a preference in color and I got all three because I love all three colors and I also really like Casey Holmes and her channel and they actually have a full review on these lipsticks and I will link it at the top of the screen for you guys if you want to see a more in-depth look at all of the lipsticks and how they wear as opposed to just me telling you about it so I will link that at the top of the screen and in my description box below so yeah moving on on, I'm gonna be talking about the Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks and I have the shade trend setter and now this liquid lipstick when you put it on you do have to wait around an hour for it to completely dry down which I know can be a bummer for a lot of people but I feel like after it completely dries down it is so comfortable to wear and it lasts such a long time and I really like that when you eat or anything it doesn't really run it doesn't smudge and when you touch up it is really nice 
nice to touch up because it blends into the lipstick that was already there. It literally looks like you reapplied the whole lipstick again because it looks brand new after reapplying. And I also really, really love the color on this one. All right, so this one here is the Casey Holmes and Palladio Lego Lipstick. This one here is the Trendsetter Lego Lipstick by Huda Beauty, which is the one I was just talking to you guys about. As you can tell, this color is such a beautiful terracotta nude. And I just really like the applicator on this one too because it's a dovo, but I feel like when I use this lipstick, I can just dip in once and do my whole mouth as opposed to having to dip two or three times, which means that this Lego Lipstick will last you longer than the other ones as well. Moving on, we're gonna be talking about the Smashbox Lego Lipsticks, and this is the shade Deep Thoughts. This is my first ever Smashbox Lego Lipstick, and I am obsessed with this formula. I'm also gonna swatch it for you guys. So. The first thing I love about this lipstick is the applicator. It is such a nice applicator to get the most precise application. It is super pointed. It grabs the perfect amount of product. It has a little hole in the middle that like guards the lipstick so that you don't have to dunk in a million times into your liquid lipstick to do your whole mouth. You can do it in just one dip. I also like the packaging because it is really small so it is really nice to carry around. So this one here is the Smashbox Liquid Lipstick. As you can tell, this is just a very deep brown shade and all my shades are nude, but I I do really like this one because it's the darkest one so it looks really dark and vampy and it's just a perfect fall color as well which I actually wore on my last video. I feel like the formula on this one is a little bit thicker than the Huda Beauty one but it does dry down way faster so if you want something that will dry down literally as you're putting it on not in a bad way though though it doesn't cake up and it's really easy to apply but if you want something that dries down fast and you're just on the go i really like the smashbox liquid lipstick and it is a little bit thicker than the other ones that i have here but what i like about that is that it makes it easier to apply because it is harder to mess up i feel like if you have a thicker formula you can draw the lines of your lips more precisely without running over the edge and having to do like a whole overline because you messed up one little corner of your mouth. I love this formula and I feel like it is also really nice if you're gonna do art. This is a really nice little lipstick because it is really opaque and it dries down really nicely and it doesn't even rub off with water like you can wash your hands with soap and water and it will still not come off so. and now the last one that i'm going to be talking about is the cap and d look lipstick in the shade bow and arrow which is the one that i'm actually wearing on my lips right now so now what i really like about this lipstick is that it doesn't sink into any lines that you have on your lips so even if you do have a lot of lines on your lips like i do the lips look super smooth like it makes your lips look extremely smooth and easy even and they have so many colors as well. I really like this shade bow and arrow because it's more of a neutral cool tone mauvey color which I didn't have before I got this one but another shade that I adore is Lolita 2. Lolita and Lolita 2 are my two favorite ones from the Cavalier Lico lipstick and I do like orangey warm shades so that's why I like those two and now I would say out of all of the lipsticks that I talked about today this one is the one that I forget that I'm wearing lipstick the most when I'm wearing it. I hope that makes sense so pretty much when I'm wearing this lipstick I completely forget that I'm wearing lipstick because it is so comfortable to wear. It does not dry down your lips at all whatsoever. Like even if you don't put lip balm before putting on the liquid lipstick, your lips will not feel dry, which is amazing because I do have very dry lips and that is why I like this liquid lipstick so much. So I feel like if you don't like liquid lipsticks that much because you find that they are too drying, I would give the Kevin D formula a try before quitting on liquid lipsticks at all. And I really like the applicator on this one as well although the applicator on this one is literally the exact same as the applicator on the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick like they are literally identical um, but the Cavendi formula is a little bit thicker it is still pretty liquidy so that is why it's really easy to apply the formula overall is amazing it is very comparable to the formula on the Palladio so if you find that these are just too expensive because I know these are like $20 for one liquid lipstick I would definitely try the Palladio ones because the Palladio and Casey Holmes liquid lipsticks are very similar to the Cavendi and the way they apply and the way they dry down and also in the way they look on the lips and now I'm just gonna swatch it to show you guys this one next to the other one so this one here is bow and arrow as you can tell this one's a little bit lighter than the other shades but they're all very nice nude shades and now something that I also like about all of these lipsticks is that when you apply them you only need one coat of the lipstick to cover your whole mouth so pretty much you don't need to do two to three coats to get a full 
pigmented lip look because they are extremely pigmented at first swipe which is something that I look for because I feel like if you get a lipstick that you have to apply two to three coats to get a full opacity in the color then your lips will end up being more dry and more cakey and flaking faster so if you just apply one coat of lipstick your lipstick will last way longer than if you apply two to three to four so you guys that is pretty much it for this video I love each and every one of these lipsticks I literally wear them every day for work like I switch in between all of these lipsticks for work every day and they always last like 10, 12, 14, 16 hours so I've never had them not last all day while I'm at work or while I go out or go to an event or anything so that is really nice because I literally put them to the test every single day if you do like long wearing matte lipsticks or matte local lipsticks you should definitely try these lipsticks out so that your lipstick can last all day literally through anything so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And yeah, I will see you on my next video. Before you leave, let me know in the comments what is your favorite lipstick that you wear literally every day or what is your favorite long-wearing look of lipstick formula because I know I haven't tried every single formula out there on the market. So if you guys have something that I have not mentioned in this video, let me know in the comments. All right, I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.